You can do leg presses, but why? Why do an inferior movement? Why do a movement that where it looks good, but it produces hardly any results? According to social media fitness, you are doing everything wrong. And there's a surprising amount of truth to that. It's just that so many of us haven't realized the negative impacts of social media fitness. But today, we're gonna fix that. And to do this, I need to take you on a little bit of an interesting journey. So come with me. You see this? This is a deadlift. It might not be textbook perfect, but it's showing you the basics of lifting a heavy object off the ground using both your back and your legs and not just your back. But we're not talking about deadlifts today. I wanna to bring your attention to this variation that everybody, including myself, has been screwing up since it was invented. Stick with me because I promise you I'm going somewhere worthwhile with all of this. This is the Romanian deadlift. It's pretty much the exact same thing, only I'm not bending my legs and not going all the way to the ground. By doing this, the quads at the front of your legs won't work as much since your knees aren't bending. So all the work goes to your back, your butt, and your hamstrings. But why is it called a Romanian deadlift? Because it was popularized by Romanian Olympic weightlifter Niku Vlad. The story goes, he was in the US giving a weightlifting clinic, and after wowing everybody with his feats of strength, he wowed them even more when he took all the weight off and did this strange movement, which looked kind of like this. So everyone in the clinic was thinking, this is the secret to their success, so we must learn it. But what do we call it? Niku had no name for it, so it was dubbed the Romanian deadlift. And this is now what you see in most gyms these days being performed to train the glutes, hamstrings, and the lower back. You'll see videos everywhere teaching you how to do this exercise. I've even done a few myself. But what you might not have realized is that they're all wrong. This was brought to my attention recently when an old fella called Istvan Havarek left a comment on one of my tutorials. Now who's Istvan, you might ask? What does he know? Istvan was the coach of the Romanian weightlifting team, and he coached a fella called Dragomir. And Dragomir coached this bloke here called Niku. And it was Niku who passed on this Russian secret to the Western world, and it was dubbed the Romanian deadlift. Take a look at how Istvan teaches the exercise. So the perfect so-called Romanian deadlift. Yes. So why am I telling you all this, and what does it have to do with the negative impacts of social media fitness? Because social media is all about black and white, telling you what is good and bad technique, and that you're right or wrong. And most of it is based on arbitrary rules that matter a lot less than we give them credit, and it's seriously confusing. Does it really matter how far down you go, or if you hit the ground or not? Does it really matter how much you arch your back, or if you shrug up at the top, or you don't? You're going to hear 10 different things from 10 different people, all of which can come at you from a position of authority. Because everybody's an expert and everybody has a correction to make. Whether it's me, who's been coaching for 15 years, or a coach like Istvan, who's been coaching for several decades, or the plethora of exceptional coaches out there on social media, or maybe the random 20-year-old kid who was stacking shelves in Costco six months ago, but then had a random TikTok blow up, everybody is an expert, and it can be very, very confusing. And while we're all out here arguing on whose technique is correct versus incorrect, who actually benefits? It's not you, the person who's actually trying to improve and build muscle and get stronger, it's the ego of those arguing. The truth is, we're probably all correct and we're probably all incorrect as well, because it comes down to the specific nuance and context that this is being applied to. While there definitely is a true Romanian deadlift out there, that's probably lost in history. But what we can all agree on is that the goal is to train the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. If you want it more for a direct explosive application to Olympic weightlifting, maybe it's Istvans. If you're trying to build your hamstrings and glutes, then you probably don't need the shrug. And you can use whatever range you want that allows you to get the stretch and place attention on the muscle in a way that works for you. Because that is the key. It's not about finding the one best exercise or the perfect textbook technique. It's about asking the question of what are you trying to achieve and what are the principles you should be basing your selection criteria on. We want to do things that allow you to take your muscles through a large range of motion, place tension on those muscles through that range of motion, push with a high level of effort, and are able to do it with repeatable technique so you have a consistent benchmark to be able to progress from. And that's it. 
Everybody, including me, is going to come at you from different perspectives that may not apply to you perfectly, which can get really confusing and overwhelming. You need to get comfortable with taking control of your journey and trusting yourself to make the best possible call given your current level of knowledge and to learn from that over time to expand that knowledge further. Bruce Lee once said, adapt what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is uniquely your own. And I think that sums it up pretty well.